For the past 12 months, the media's attention has focused on Medang not as a tourist destination, but as a hot spot for crime. Police at the Jomba station, where the provincial police headquarters is located, say every week they attend to between 50 and 60 violent alcohol-related incidents. Sometimes these incidences escalate to serious crimes like murder. The number of armed robberies is at an all-time high, with at least six incidents a week. Even only Pekino Sadrina, that's a humble to a big plateau. Once we dream or dream finish, all no salahs, all Sanabo Road, all the carry and pass through night, all local broken and big plateau here. But it's not just the citizens of Medang who are bearing the brunt of this surge in crime. Being on the front line, police officers are also being targeted by criminals and opportunists. Or Laos Blumi or Living Kam Burkime. Senior Constable Solomon William, Task Force Commander in Medang, was moved from a settlement where he resided to an already condemned police barracks after he was attacked. <laughs> People must move around. Time all busman all looking for Time all attacking for them. Quick time all he. How she me go so? Can you say me effect blow? How me plus a walk here? He said plenty time by looking me plus a walk. Committee me play there. Me plus a bus walk here. Time is no time. Me plus a bus in. Me plus a walk. Must more than sixteen, seventeen hours. Me plus a walk here. Outside, Corporal John Solala, task force member, shows the injuries he got when he was attacked earlier this month. He didn't want to speak on camera, but he said the Medang task force became a target after they were accused of shooting an armed robbery suspect. He said his daughter and his wife were also threatened. At the Nagara settlement, Constable Tika Aso tells me he and his family face an impending eviction by the government. Earlier this year, he was stabbed and slashed by a mob after he and two other officers tried to arrest troublemakers drunk on steam at a school graduation. time <laughs> The provincial police commander says getting Medang back in order is a difficult task and the past problems have to be resolved before Medang can move forward. Scott Waide, National NTV News, Medang.